Hey Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for November 18th to 25th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what you can expect this week. The astrology for mid-November has really been astrologying, okay? Uh, Saturn, your, um, which is in your sign right now, has uh, stationed direct which Saturn is a planet of karma. Saturn is the great timekeeper. Saturn teaches a lot of lessons and oftentimes those lessons are a little bit difficult to receive or process. And so it can feel like there are delays in life. It can feel like there are challenges and restrictions as Pisces, as Saturn moves in, in your sign Pisces. And Saturn's gonna hang out in there um, for the next little bit. Uh, it's gonna retrograde, or, or sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. It's gonna move into Aries a little bit in a in 2025 come back in your sign before it finishes off its time in pisces now you also have um neptune in its last degree in your sign right now before neptune moves into aries next year so there's a lot of how do i explain this to you there's a lot of changeable energy right now and it may even feel like you're wilting away okay why am i talking about the astrology because it's really important for you to listen to this okay it's really important that you understand what you have signed up to uh in your soul contract what what you are alive for um to really help you understand how to process this journey and how to best navigate it the astrology for 2025 is wicked and i think like you know, we can look at it as a bad thing, good thing. I think it's gonna be really, really good. I also think it's gonna come with a lot of change. And so as a mutable sign, you're really good at change, right? Change comes very easy for you. Where you can potentially feel very stuck, let's just say that word, is if you if you find yourself wanting to stay where you are, when source is turning around and going, no, you've, you've evolved, you've changed, right? Now, you had the lunar eclipse in your sign back in September, and that was basically a cycle that was initiated here for you. And then you also have the North Node moving into your sign January uh, 11, 2025. So it's like Source is basically saying all this stuff right now is essentially catapulting you to your life's purpose, to this next step in your life, this next chapter in your book. And some of you may be feeling like, I'm not ready. I, first, I need to have this. Then I need to have that. Or, you know, if we were sitting down having a bestie to bestie conversation, you might be turning around and saying, well, Char, like nothing good has happened and all these challenges and da, 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 and all these things. And what I'll say to that is, are you willing to look at things from a different perspective? In the ocean, you are the megalodon shark, not the shrimp. Okay, and a lot of you have been told that you are the shrimp in the ocean. You are two fish swimming in opposite direction. If there is anybody I would ever go to for guidance to dive into the deepest depths of the ocean, the places where NASA and humans have never gone or are too afraid to go. You ever watch those deep sea horror movies? Who lives down there? Who lives in the pineapple under the sea SpongeBob SquarePants, AKA you, cause let's get real. A SpongeBob SquarePants is 100% of Pisces, okay? <laughs> la, 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 la. All right, so think about it that way, okay? Think about it that way. Like your power right now is being asked to flourish, to shine. And why are you trying to shy away from that? Why are you trying to make yourself small, babe? Babe, babe. You are two fish swimming in different directions. I know you, I am you, okay? So let's dive into this reading and really talk about the preparation because uh, this week did not come to play. <clears throat> you have two major arcana here. You have a beautiful 10 of cups here. This is gonna be a really, really nice week. This is also gonna be a week where source is going like this. And some of you are gonna be like, yay, I'm so excited. And then others of you are gonna be like, Jesus, I just, oh. You know what this reminds me of? Have you guys seen that TikTok where the guy's like, let me tell you something, let me tell you something before he's like being tossed down to bungee jump in the chair? That's this. You're being bungee jumped, bro, whether you like it or not, okay? You don't have anybody to tell anything to. It's your time, okay? The lunar eclipse showing up here to remind you of the major breakthroughs, releasing the past, the healing that you're going through. Love, come on, come on, okay? I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. I love this card for you. This is an in indication here that the perspective is changing, right? How can we look at these experiences 
that we potentially in the past looked at from a place of fear and uncertainty to a place of surrender and love and honoring the journey, okay? Instead of being in like rage and resentment. Then we have star family. You're part of a team of souls call and support. If there was anybody who could talk to ghosts is you, okay? The most psychic sign of the entire zodiac. You could most definitely tune into source consciousness to angels, angels, masters, teachers right now to support you. We start off with the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles has this really interesting energy. On one side, it's all about wait and see patience. Okay. Planting the seeds and it's not just time to harvest. And then on the other side is what you plant, what you reap, you sow. And so the question is what seeds are you planting right now in your mind, in your heart, right? If we look at the four pillars of self, emotional, mental, spiritual, physical, what are the seeds that you're planting in your life right now? Are they leading you towards this? Because I think this week, especially with the hermit showing up and the high priestess, this is Virgo Pisces energy really can get into high gear. Some of you may really be feeling the energy as the North Node moves into Pisces, okay? Or you may have like Pisces first house or Pisces seventh house. It's affecting you and your relationships, the, the first seven house axes, okay? Pisces rising, Virgo rising. And so here is this message of like, what is it that truly makes you happy? What is it that truly feels fulfilling for you? What kind of romantic life, family life? What is your 10 of cups? Write it down, declare it out into the universe, tune in, and then surrender that source is listening to your prayers. And hold on a second, because I hear you, some of you wanting to manifest with a certain person in your life, stop manifesting to certain people. Manifest to the characteristics. Because a lot of you are like, why am I not manifesting being with this guy or this girl? Because they're not meant for you. Because they're trash and you are not. Sometimes trash needs to go associate with the trash and you as the elevated, beautiful, angelic soul that you are need to go find your equal. And this energy right here is an indication that we got to let go of control. We got to surrender to source. We got to have the introspection, the self-reflection because source is saying, I want to give you this. Ta -da! I want to give it to you, but you are trying to force a square into the circle of your life. You can't do that. Okay. And that's a big message coming through here for some of you with the two of pentacles. Yeah. Six of pentacles. This has a lot to do with your foundations, your stability, your security, your money, <coughs> excuse me, your material possessions. Okay. I'm still getting over whatever the heck I'm getting over now. Okay. Your material possessions, your wealth. So a lot of you, this is, has money stability focus. All right. This is a lot of you. It's about your foundations. So that you feel solid and stable in your own life, regardless of who you're dating or who is your partner. Four of Swords wrapping up. When you need to rest, baby, it's time to rest. Okay, whenever I see the Four of Swords show up, it is a clear indication to me that rest is required. Rest, retreat, refuel, reset. Those are my R words for the Four of Swords. Okay, and that is a really, really big message for you because let me tell you something, <laughs> LOL. Okay, you cannot... You cannot attract what you desire if you are in desperation. Desperation and insistence results in resistance. Desperate energy is like abundance, love, happiness, peace, ease is repulsed by desperation. Trust me, trust you, been there, done that, okay? At the end of this video, before I'm diving into your love reading, by the way, now at the end of this video, I'm going to pop a, a video all about manifesting money to help you out. OK, look at that. We have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wow, the Ace of Wands and the Hermit. Yeah, <gasps> some of you, some of you might be coming into a romantic situation. OK, OK, some of you might be falling. I mean, you did get Venus from Star Sea Jewels, Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Two of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands. Yes. How oh my God, Tower. You got Venus as your amulet from Star Sea Jewels. This is all about self love, love. Okay. Self worth, sensuality, luxury, calling in, you know what? Into your life. The Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups is really an energy here that indicates you being able to call in what you desire for the long term. Okay. The Two of Wands, Ace of Wands. It's about to get hot in here. Ooh, mama. Okay. You may meet somebody here at a dinner. Maybe you're out and about at a party. Okay. And uh, yeah, you know. What I'll say is a ten of wands hermit source is saying, have you learned from your past? Stop repeating the same mistakes in the past if you're ready to find your soulmate. 
just saying okay here's that video i was telling you about if you want to book a session want to work with me in any capacity it's in the description box below thank you for your likes your comments your shares your subscribes we will see you later alligators peace out